guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all having a great day. I have a Scentsy haul to share with you. This is from my Scentsy club. So I do have a ton of bars here. I would say these three kind of piles that I made are all things that I have tried before that I know that I love and I've kind of gotten hooked on. And then this other row all the way at the end, those are all things that I haven't tried, but I was currently in the low buy. I didn't do a very good job at it, but I decided that to kind of save a little bit more money, I would just stick them in my club so I would have to pay for it further down the line. So we are here now. So I did pay for those um, like further down the line, but still, I mean, I don't know why my brain works the way it does. I was like, oh yeah, if I just stick it in my club, then I'll worry about it later, which is like weird mindset, but that's my thought process there, I guess. So. Um, I think what I'll do is actually show you guys all of the things that I have currently in my Scentsy Club that I have tried first and then kind of finish up with the things that I haven't tried to give you my first reaction, you know, kind of impressions on those. And I also did with my half price club item, I picked up the March Whiff Box. So I kind of like peeked in. I've seen other people's videos, so I know what to expect, but I haven't smelled any of those things. So I'll share that also at the end with you guys. But let's jump into the actual bars that I've tried. I have this whole row here of um, things that are all kind of like fall, I guess, inspired things that I guess, I don't know, fit the fall type of season. You could melt. I mean, if you're not a seasonal melter, you can melt any time of year, but this is kind of just, as you can see, fall is my favorite. Um, so I have Caramel Apple Craze. This is a scent that I love. It's it's not that it's like anything that I feel like it's a standout, it's super unique. It just smells like a normal caramel apple, but I do really like it. It's a really good caramel apple scent, so I have it. This has been in my club since I think the first time I ever started my Scentsy Club. And I also have another one that is in there since the first time I started my club. This is Apple S'mores. I know a lot of people don't love this, um, I know a few people do here on YouTube, but I really do love this scent. I think it just is kind of like a apple mixed with like a smoky tree type scent kind of vibe. It doesn't smell like s'mores at all. It just smells like you're outside by a campfire um, with apples around you. It's really, really nice. I love it. Uh, a, no a more recent kind of addition to my Scentsy Club. This is Graham Cracker Crunch. This is just like a peanut butter cookie scent. And this one does amazing in my house, like really, really strong, room filling, lasts a good long time. So I do really love this one and I stuck it in because it went away this past like transition period. Another one that I, I don't know if this is still in the catalog. I don't think it is anymore, but this is the um, Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween Town with the like Disney line that they have. And this one is so good it's like i think it's cedarwood and maybe apples right like apples and cedarwood i don't know i love this scent it is so good it, there's something like kind of like like a tangy sweetness to it like an earthy tangy sweetness i don't know if this was like a drink like a cocktail around like halloween i would drink it i don't it kind of gives me that vibe i know there's like a tree note in it it doesn't make any sense to me for me to want to like drink it but i do um i really like halloween town that's a favorite I'm kind of blowing through these because I've got a ton. Um, this one is Bright Cider Life. This one is kind of like a classic cider scent. I know that Scentsy also have some, has some other like scent, um, cider type scents, but this one is my favorite. It is really, really strong also in my house. This one is just like beautiful. It just is sweet and I think there's pumpkin in this one. I really like Bright Cider Life. And that one went away too. As you can see, a lot of these were things that just kind of went away. So I was like, I need them, I need them, because I panic. This one here is Autumn Road Trip. This is another one that I think is like oak and leaves or something like that. I really should be more on top of like labeling all of them, but I'm not. Um, if you guys want to know the scent notes, leave a comment, I'll let you know. Um, but this one is really, really nice. It's kind of just like a outdoorsy like oak tree leaves kind of like with a sweetness from like an apple or a pumpkin type scent. And then this one is toasted acorn and oak. I think I like tree scents a lot, like fall tree scents, not winter, like pine, like green tree scents, but I really like like brown, <laughs> brown tree scents. 
Um, yeah, and like I love like pine cone scents and like acorn scents and stuff like that. So this one's amazing. Um, there is like this sweetness behind this that's also kind of like makes me hungry. I don't know why that does that, but amazing one as well. These three are kind of like fresh wintry type scents to my nose and I love them all a lot. This one's Cozy Cardigan. It's so funny because I remember back before I ever tried this, there was like, there is a rose note in this and that was the only reason why I never tried it. But everyone was like, you don't smell the rose, like it's really good. And I finally give it a shot and it's really, really strong and I love this one. So happy to have that. I have Cashmere and Corduroy, which is kind of similar to that last one. Um, but there is more, it, it literally smells like, like my way back in the day when I was like in elementary school, I had this, um, pink corduroy, like, I think it was supposed to be like, um, overalls, but it was a skirt. And I think it had like a little butterfly or like a flower on like a pocket in the front. It was like a, this color pink. So it really kind of is like nostalgic for me. I don't know. I really, it smells like that. It smells like my childhood. So I like it for that reason. I feel like if you don't have an attachment, then maybe you'd be like, it's not that great, but I really like it. Um, and then one that I totally fell in love with this winter is Fluffy Fleece. Also, I don't know how they did it. This smells like a, like a fleece blanket or like a fleece. I don't, I literally don't know how they did it. I'm like, I don't know how, but like, I don't know how they did it. It smells like fleece, like a fluffy blanket that you like pulled out of the dryer. It's warm. You stick your face in it. That's what this smells like. I think that some people like don't like this one and then some people really do. I think it's like a love it or hate it type of scent. I love it. I love it. So good. So fresh. And then I have a few like spring summer type scents here that are also ones that I love. Strawberry swirl. Oh my goodness. This is so good. On cold, like sniffing the bar. It's not really anything special. And I'm really happy that I warmed this before I took it out of my club. It's delicious. It smells like a strawberry milkshake when you melt it. Really, really good. Sweet plum pastry. Everyone knows and loves this scent. I feel like if you have tried it, this is the reason why I got a Scentsy Club. And it just is like a delicious plum. This one here is Summer Soleil. This one is one that I'm kind of debating on just pulling out of my club. I do have skinny dipping and I feel like in like a larger, like a, what do they call them? Like Scentsy Brick. So very large, but I feel like this one and skinny dipping are so similar that I might take this one out of my club. I don't, I really need to kind of edit this a little bit better. Um, but this was a really nice kind of fruity kind of melon type scent. I have Huckleberry Sage. This one came out in like the more recent Bring Back My Bar. And this one is just like a really nice, juicy kind of fresh berry scent. I don't get a whole lot of sage in this. Um, maybe the freshness is coming from the sage, but I really do like this one a lot. And then one that I've like really quickly fallen in love with. This is Mulberry Bush. This is incredible. Um, it smells like there's like a juicy juice, fruit juice scent, but it's like a different, it's not like the original. There's like a, like a deeper berry juicy juice, fruit juice scent. I don't know. It kind of smells like this to me. Definitely is another nostalgic scent. Kind of like reminds me of like that cashmere and corduroy or is it cashmere and corduroy? the corduroy scent that I talked about how it like brings me back to like my childhood this one kind of does that too um but it's so so good it makes me hungry and like thirsty and my mouth water it's so good mulberry bush love and then these ones here are all of the ones that I kind of quickly threw into my club to try them out but I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna stay or go so this one here is apple butter frosting this they took out of the catalog, so I panicked and I put it in my club. I think I can take it out because I, I get cinnamon a little bit. And maybe it's just because I'm we're like kind of transitioning into spring that I don't feel like I love this right now. Um, it's just okay to me. I feel like there's vendor wax that I think kind of gives me a similar vibe, so I don't think I need it. So I think I'll take this out, but I'm going to try it first and then decide... Uh, this one here is Huckleberry and Clementine. This was part of the Bring Back My Bar. And I don't love this one. The Clementine in this is, um, like, it's almost like you can smell, like, the peel or, like, the white. I don't know what that part of, like, the orange is called. Like, the, the, what is it called? It's not the peel. It's not the rind. It's, like, the stuff, like, the 
white coating that's on top of like a citrus fruit. You know, it <laughs> almost smells like I can smell that distinctly in this. And the huckleberry isn't as strong. I don't know. I'll warm it first. Almost smells like ah, something green or there's like a greenness to it too. So I'm not a super fan of that. So I'll probably take that out. This one is stargazing and this was just a part of the normal catalog, I think. Um, I wanted to try it because somebody said it gave them like hippie vibes or something in a video I think I watched and I can absolutely see what they're saying. I want to try this one first because it definitely does give you kind of that vibe. Um, I would be shocked if there wasn't um, not patchouli. What is the other thing? Sandalwood, right? Or there's another thing I'm thinking of. There smells like there's some kind of like a earthy base to this. Maybe sandalwood, maybe Nag, Ch Nag Champa. Maybe it's that, um, but I can see the vibe. I like it. Um, I'll warm it first and then decide. All of these I'm gonna try to just warm first and then decide. This is Joy and Wonder and I picked this up. I think it was Casey said that this reminded her of the, um, the, uh, was it the, it was like the Halloween, like scent that came out from Scentsy that, oh my goodness now, I'm totally blanking on what that scent was. I'm blanking. I'll leave it somewhere if I can figure out what that scent is. It's like the Halloween Scentsy bar that's no longer available. And she said that this one kind of reminded her of that. And it's not helpful if I can't remember. I can see what she's saying. I definitely get a, a twinge of that in there, but I get a lot of cranberry also in this. So um, that, this kind of reminds me of like the Christmassy, like wintertime version of that one. Um, maybe there's like plum, is there plum in this? I can see what she's saying, but I also feel like I get like a twinge of like a, like a, a spice in this also. I wish I could remember because it's going to totally bother me. It's like a purple one. doesn't matter. Anyway, I picked this up. I'm going to try it, see how I like it because the other one you can no longer get. I hope it comes back this October or fall season. And then I think all the rest of these are from the Bring Back My Bar. This is World Traveler. Um, I like this. It's very light to me just sniffing it. I can smell it, but it's not like anything that I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, I can distinctly pull this, this, this out of it. It just kind of smells like a sweet, fresh scent, um, but very sweet, a little masculine, maybe like a little bit masculine. Um, I like it, but I'm going to melt this one. I who see I watch so many videos and I do. I like watch videos when I'm like doing housework or like running around or doing other things. And then I'm like, everyone's thoughts kind of blend together. So I'm trying to remember who said that they just melted this. Su Susan? I think it was Susan. I think it was Susan that said that she melted this in her son's room and it was like really, really strong. I think it was. But anyway, that makes me excited to try this because I'm cold. I'm not like super impressed, but I feel like on warm, it might impress me. This one is Thunderstorm. This one reminds me of Rose Girls Kissing in the Rain a lot but much more floral. So like if you guys have tried Rose Girls Kissing the Rain, that one is more watery, like rain based with a like a, a kiss of like floral in it. This one is like that, but heavier on the floral, but very, very similar. So I don't think I need this one, especially because I think I prefer the other one over it, but I wanted to try it. And then finally Hendrix. I tried, I wanted to try this because I think the patchouli note in here and I really like this one this one might be the stand stand out out of all of the other ones that I haven't smelled before um this one is definitely like really earthy patchouli but like a fresh sweet patchouli not like a dirty heavy patchouli it's like a bright fresh sweet patchouli I like it a lot so that is all of the bars. And then I have my whiff box. So this is the March whiff box. And like I said, I did peek inside really quick, but I didn't open up any, any of the other things. So we'll kind of just discover it together. So it says scent with love, which is cute. 
happy whiffing. And then it's got this little paper here. I'm sure you guys have seen all of these better videos of people going through their whiff boxes. And I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, okay, so it tells me different things about sharing the unboxing. Um, let's see. Time for a refresh. Oh, it opens up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read this on my own accord, but um, it looks like it just has make a splash. We know spring cleaning seems daunting. And then it has different like checklists you can check off for different places to clean. And I see it says window blinds. That is one that I really need to do. I really need to clean my blinds. Um, okay, so right on top, we have a Swedish dish cloth, which I love these actually. These are really awesome because they, like when you get them wet, they're just like a normal cloth and then they dry kind of like this more into a solid form. And I think I prefer these over sponges because sponges just like kind of gross me out a little bit sometimes. Um, so this is gonna be really awesome to have and also really perfect for our camper van. So we can just like use it and then hang it over the actual sink itself and not have to worry about a sponge getting tossed around when we drive. This is really cute. It's got like little mermaids on it. Oh, cute. Look how cute the little mermaids are. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me try to see if I can cover. Huh. I don't know. It's cute. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I think it's adorable though. And then this is the... Um, is this a scent? Yeah, scent of the month. So it is Hey Tiger Lily, which a tiger lily is a floral. Definitely smells like there's oranges in this. Is there oranges in this? Yes. It's a citrusy floral. I like this. Um, I can definitely smell like the lily scent. And typically lilies make me sneeze really bad. So we'll see if that actually happens. And I it sh shouldn't because it's not an actual lily, but we'll see if my brain makes my nose like get bothered by it, but I really like this just based on the cold sniff. It's like a very springtime type scent, a good, like it's a nice cleaning scent actually, which fits the box because all of the rest of these products in the whip box are all cleaning products. So let me, let me just drop that <laughs> really quick. And then it came with a counter clean in the scent Make a splash. Okay, so I just peeled open the counter clean and make a splash, which also has the cute little mermaids from the dishcloth all over it, which I love. Um, I can't really get a good scent of it in here. It kind of just smells like, like a juice. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. It kind of smells like juice. I'm not gonna drink it, but it smells like something that you could drink. Um, I think it's fine. I mean, I'm sure once I get like spraying it and like really using it, I'll be able to like decide if I like the scent or not. Oh, that makes sense why it smells like juice. I, there's apples on it and melons. It looks like cantaloupe maybe, apples, green apples. It kind of smells like that kind of a juice, like an apple-y fruit juice kind of vibe. Um, this one here is the dish soap in Cloudberry Dreams, which has like flowers and raspberries and blackberries and peaches all over it. So I'm gonna assume that's what is in it, like blackberries, peaches, floral. Um, let's open this one up. Ooh, okay, that one smells amazing. I might have to try out Cloudberry Dreams in wax form because this smells really good. I love a good peach and this smells like a really nice peach scent. So super excited about having that. I currently have um, Autumn Road Trip as my dish soap right now and I've been loving it so much. So thrilled about that. And then I literally had a massive struggle on trying to open the bathroom cleaner but this one is in Coastal Sunset and it's really cute label again with like flip flops and like a beach. Uh, looks like a coconut kind of drink here. So I'm gonna assume it's like a coconutty type scent. Um, it smells to me kind of like a sandalwood. I have no idea what's in this. Um, 
I don't get, maybe it's like a coconut sandalwood kind of a scent, but it definitely doesn't smell like a tropical drink. It smells much more like a, like a sandy beach sandalwood kind of vibe. Um, does it say, I don't think the notes are on these actual bottles, which would be awesome if they were. I mean, it'd be awesome if since he put notes on anything, but um, no notes. So yeah, I'll leave them if I can figure them out. But I am super excited that out of all of the Scentsy like whiff box options that I picked a really good one because like I know sometimes they do like the little, um, they give you like things that you have to buy other things for, which I wouldn't, I would have been kind of like, that's annoying, um, but they didn't. And this is like a really good one to get. So I feel super excited about that. Like I know they've got like the little like fan diffuser things, but they only give you like the pods and then you have to go buy the actual thing. Um, so I was like, I really hope I don't get one of those. Um, but I didn't, so I'm pumped. I'm really overall thrilled. I think my personal standout of all of this is the Hendrix scent. I think that that's really good, but I could hate it once I warm it up. So we shall see. Uh, I of course will um, keep you guys in the loop of like what I think about these once I warm them and that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day and take care. Bye guys.